Yahoo! YouTube. I am Super Genki, and in today's video, I want to talk to you more about reflection because I think reflection is so cool. Usually in our day to day lives, you don't have the time to stop in place and reflect on the life we've lived because we're busy living the life we're in right now. You know, there's a past, there's a present, and then there's a future. It's really hard to stop in the present and look at the past and reflect upon the actions that have happened. Because usually speaking, we just think about the negative. We're just trained to think about the past as a negative. But reflection, introspection in this phrase, in this term, is looking about what you did, what decisions you made, how you're going to learn from those decisions and those actions, and what you're going to do in the present to affect your future. Many people can't do this in the day-to-day -day life. Many people are living paycheck to paycheck around America and in the world. That's something that I wouldn't be able to understand because I've never lived that way, but I understand that it's, it's difficult. It really is difficult to believe in positivity when you don't see it in your past self. When you don't see it in your present self. If you don't see it in your past and your present, how are you going to believe that it's there in the future? Answer is that you got to take some time to reflect. And it does require a lot of energy. It requires a lot of time. It requires a lot of commitment to be able to do these things. But I think that one of the best things about quarantine, and we got to look for the best things in quarantine, people, please. we got to be positive about this is that now we have so much free time and so many less responsibilities. Our responsibilities are much less than beforehand. Usually responsibilities take up our time, right? But now that we have less responsibilities, we have more time to apply to other things. So now is the time to start giving yourself homework, to start giving yourself reflection work, to start thinking about your past decisions, what you wanna do in the future, where you wanna go in the present. How do you wanna start living? Because the key here is that if you wait for things to get better, they're not going to get better. There's no returning it to normal. They're not going to get better anytime soon. And there's no returning to normal after this pandemic is over. So when you're forced to go back to work, do you really just want to be the same person? Do you really just want to operate on the same beliefs? No, of course not. You want to be a better person. But in order to be a better person, you have to start looking back and making corrections to the errors that you made before quarantine started. Because the little things are so much more important than the big things. You only make big choices once every couple of months, right? The little things are so, so, so much more important because you make those things, those choices every single day. And those choices define who you are. It's not the big choices that define who you are. It's the little choices that define who you are. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it, man. Smash that like button if you liked this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, trying to get to 10,000 by the end of this year. From still alive, hey! Leave a comment. Love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. But most importantly, share this video with your friends. <laughs> we need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible, especially now. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.